I'm Sam Marshall. I'm from London. This is my wee shop. Um, I say wee because we have another one across the lock. But this is our wee doll's house. It's a wool shop. So we try and give really good quality for a medium price range. And we run workshops and we're really just here as a woolly person's clubhouse. You can come in here and you can sit down and just knit away. We will talk to you if you want. Won't talk to you if you want. Come in, you can ask a question. We have every wall in every colour as much, and we are all about the colour. And if you want to do a primrose flower, you should be able to get a primrose colour. We just try and make everybody as happy and as cheerful as we can. And we think the colour and the whole atmosphere actually does that. This was originally a fabric shop in this corner and you'd have had to have gone across the courtyard into the embroidery shop. So it's nice that it's come back full circle. And it's always been a crafty type of shop. There was a florist here, there was a very unusual alternative furniture. So it's always attracted traditional ways of looking at things and traditional things and always things that you use your hands for. And if you, by using your hands just to create something, it doesn't matter if it's any good, to anybody else, it's just the journey of using your hands can actually be so therapeutic. You can't craft and be unhappy because it makes you happy. It's, it's, it's fluff and it doesn't have any calories like chocolate. So it does have an image of, it's what my granny did. I learned it with my granny. I learned it with my auntie. It's a, an older person image what's really lovely is the fact that my youngest customer is two and my oldest customer is 102 and i have every variation in between it's exploded in the last couple of years you walk through any mainstream shop everything is crocheted and knitted at the moment because people are going back and people should be going back to sustainable useful ways of mending. We run a course called Sashisko based in um, from Japanese and it's decorative mending. So rather than throwing your clothes away, we can show you how to really prettily patch them. And it's just that ethos. So it's an old fashioned, but very, very modern phenomenon that people have realized that these little hooks and these wee little needles can really, really mean a lot to an awful lot of people. I think Hollywood High Street is one of the nicest high streets in the north. It's perfectly sized, it's got good parking, we've got the sea as well, and it's quirky. We're doing a project in yarn bombing. What we're going to do is make panels and we're going to crochet on those panels the different buildings and the different quirkiness of Hollywood so we're looking at it from that point of view but if you walk down Hollywood Hush there's so much to look at there's shutters on the top where you're like why would they be there and that sort of thing you can't replace that and if we don't shop locally and we don't support locally if we made it our focus that we think right we're going to cook sustainably we're going to eat sustainably we're going to craft sustainably we're going to socialize sustainably there is no other option than somewhere like hollywood high street I've always liked doing uh, patchwork and making use of sort of things that are too small to make other things from and putting them together in nice patterns. I also do some embroidery and I would do a wee bit of knitting, not great on the knitting, but just enjoy playing with the wool and seeing what I can create. There's a, a new shop there called The Yarn Patch and I've actually know the owner, Sam. I went to some of her classes over in Newton Abbey in Merville House and I was delighted to hear that she was moving to Hollywood. So I've made a wee a visit to us and all the lovely yarns that are there really inspire you. So many different kinds and uh, it's just a lovely place. You just go in and feel them all. <laughs> I think it's very important to have a small independent shop, especially in Hollywood. Uh, over the lockdown, a lot of people took up crafts and tried
tried to sort of their hand at making things again, give them something to do while they were at home. The high street is really important. It's where people meet each other. It's where people can socialize. Uh, you get all the, the young people meeting there. You get the old people. There's a whole mixing pot of everybody. And if there's plenty of variety of shops there, you'll get more people there.